Hi guys, well today I'm going to make a portable LED lighting panel for photography and video work. I'm Lynn and this is the Darwin Orbit channel. So I'm constantly taking photos and videos of whatever I'm working on, um, whether that is a project, um, of food uh, of myself <laughs> when vlogging or for Instagram or something like that. And one thing that's often an issue is lighting. If I'm shooting in the evening when it's dark and the light is a little orangey and not that crisp, especially if you're on the go and you're not in control of the setting. So I thought what I need and what I know many others need is a small lighting panel. So that's what I'm going to build today. And I'm gonna show how you can make one too. Okay, well, first of all, I started with cutting up some polycarbonate on the table saw, but uh, you could also use a bandsaw or a utility knife and a straight edge. I need three pieces for this build, so I'm cutting that to size. And I like the polycarbonate because it is light and durable, yet it doesn't crack or shatter. And then sanding the corners so they're not so sharp. Next, I'm drilling holes in all the corners and I've got this little jig set up. So I've got the three pieces of plastic stacked and then I can drill through all of them to make them identical so they'll line up later. And I'm using a drill press, but you could also simply use a drill. Also a drilling holes for the wires to go through with the middle piece. Now to power this, I was first thinking of using AA batteries, uh, so I did a test. And it worked out really well, but I thought it was a little too heavy and clumsy, and I wanted the panel really light. So that brought me to coin cell lithium ion batteries instead. So first of all, I have these holders for coin cell batteries, which I got online. So all in all, I need 12 volts, because I'm using LED strips. And uh, these coin cell batteries each provide 3 volts. So I'm wiring 4 holders together in series. So uh, doing a little soldering to connect it all. And then, of course, testing it out with batteries to make sure everything is good. Now, for the actual lights, I'm using these 12 volt LED strips. So I'm cutting five strips, each with nine lights. And the whole idea here is that I want a very distributed light um, when it's not focused like a flashlight beam. So just taking the plastic off so I can stick the light to the middle panel, which has the holes drilled through. And then I'm connecting all the positives together on one side and the negatives on the other. I'm simply using one wire that I'm curving here and then soldering each point down. And I was trying to make it really neat and clean and then just pulling the wires towards the back side through the hole. I also have a little switch here that I need to connect. So soldering together the positive line with the positive side of the battery holders. Then connecting the negative side of the batteries to the light. And it's one complete circuit. And to attach the battery holders on the back here, I'm just using hot glue. Now I want to be able to use this in a couple of different ways. Either by just holding it by hand um, or attaching it in the hot shoe of a camera or by putting it on a tripod. So first I checked what's the size of a standard hot shoe and it seemed like 1 16th of an inch would fit. So I got some 1 16th inch angled aluminum which I marked and cut out on the bandsaw. Then I marked two holes and drilled one hole on each side of the drill press. And then I tapped one of the holes for quarter 20 threads which fit a standard tripod mount. Then I could assemble everything. So removing all the protective plastic and uh, I drilled an additional hole in the polycarbonate. Then I attached the metal mount with a screw and a nut. And then I put the whole unit together with some spacers, M3 screws and lock washers. I also added a little painter's tape to the metal mount to make the fit on the camera shoe a touch tighter. So uh, then just trying it out here on the camera and on the tripod and it works really well. Okay, well let's take it out and uh, let's actually use it.
Now I designed this with the idea that you would turn it on when you need to take a photo or do a little quick video work and then you'd shut it off right away. It's not designed to be something you kind of keep on as a background light for a long time. But I was curious, how long would four of these coin cell batteries last uh, with this amount of lighting? And through my original calculation, I figured it would last about an hour, but I thought let's set up a test and actually find out. So after two hours my camera battery went dead and the light was still shining. A little bit less bright than initially but it was still going so this lasts substantially longer than I originally thought. And considering you can find these batteries for about 50 cents each, uh, you don't really have to worry about keeping it on for any extended period of time. Now like with all projects, it's always fun to think how do you improve something even further. So here are a few ways uh, to make this even better and more complicated. A 3D printed sealed case. Using rechargeable lithium ion batteries instead. Um, now these are a lot more money and you would have to draw the current in series. However, put it back in parallel to charge the batteries up. Ideally with a sensing circuit. A dimmer. However, you don't want to use PWM because of the flickering. You could also add additional coin cell lithium ion batteries in parallel, which can either provide double the life or double the brightness. I actually think this is a pretty cool idea, and I did a test here where I have eight coin cell lithium ion batteries set up in the two switches. The thing is that four batteries is actually pretty bright, especially in a darker setting in the evening. This provides a lot of lighting and you may not want even more lighting at times. Um, so I think it's kind of cool in that sense that you wouldn't need uh, to deal with a dimmer in this situation and you have access to both. So that is just another option, although it does require a little bit more work. So those are just some thoughts on how to improve and possibly overcomplicate this project. I've actually gotten a ton of use out of this panel so far. I love that it's so small and so easy to bring along with you. I've been keeping it in my bag and it's so nice to just be able to like, oh, oh, I need a little more light to just bring it out of my bag. And it's like not a big deal, especially in like darker situations in the evening, like for food photography or whatever, or for like a little quick vlogging. I love how it makes everything look better and it's not a big deal. What else? Oh, I want to thank my patrons over at patreon.com uh, for supporting my work. Each week I do a private Patreon vlog. Hey. Hi guys, how is it going? I am sitting in my tinker corner, kind of like that. And uh, I go over a little bit about what I'm working on, what I'm thinking about, that kind of thing. So if you'd like access to those vlogs and if you'd like to support my work here, then you can check out my Patreon page. I'll leave a link in the description below. And uh, I'll also leave links to all the products that I used for this build if you want to make one too. And if you do build one of these units, make sure to let me know because I'd love to hear about it. But yeah, otherwise, uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.